Well, it's been a year since I was elected, so it's been a very busy year, and I've learned a lot in that first year. We have a huge responsibility in government to try and turn things around, and we've done some good things and we've made some mistakes. Locally, it's been very busy here in Dublin North Central, a lot of local issues to deal with. The problems here are the same as everywhere else in the country. It's unemployment. And that's why I had two employment roads shows uh, earlier this year in, in Duny Kearney and, and Edenmore. People want to see their local politicians working hard to find a solution to the unemployment problem. And that's what I'm trying to do. I think I've visited almost every single school in Dublin North Central since the election. And the Jobs Initiative actually managed to bring some improvements to some local schools like uh, St. Bridges in Colester and Chanel College in Coolock. But I talk to principals, I talk to teachers, but I also most importantly talk to students about issues that concern them, and most particularly recently, junior cert reform and leaving cert reform. I think I need to listen to students and that will, that's what I'm doing. Well, in Clontarf there was a major controversy about the Dublin City Council's plans to build what was effectively was a flood wall here, which the local people were very much against, and myself and Jane Horgan Jones, my replacement at Dublin City Council, fought right from the start to prevent that from happening. We were successful, and we're back in negotiations with Dublin City Council again for a better flood plan that will keep this wonderful view, but also protect the houses on Clontarf Strand. I've been working very hard with local sports clubs because I believe passionately in sport and what a positive influence sport can have in a community. We had a major success with Dublin Bus in our campaign to have the 20B and 27B services retained. The names of those services have changed but the routes haven't and that's been a great success for the Labour Party in this constituency and those communities are delighted that Dublin Bus made that decision. In terms of policing, I still have my community policing forum meetings going on in Grace Park, in Collinswood and in Brookwood and the Gardaí have been great in supporting those forums which allow local people to find local solutions to their policing problems. We also have two senior citizens forums in Marino and in Dunicarney which we hope to roll out to other areas where senior citizens come and they talk about their issues and we try and find solutions for them. But well, for the next year, I'm going to work as hard as I can for the people of Dublin North Central and for this country. We need to believe in our country again, be proud of our country, and we have to restore faith in politics as well, which is also very, very important.